hunter in the commodity markets. And I think like many farmers, I've been uh, glued to my computer, checking out prices, especially in this crazy canola market. And uh, so today I'm looking forward to learning more about what these charts are saying. And Adam, uh, welcome and uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Margaret. So first I want to go over really what technical analysis is. It's a methodology for forecasting the direction of prices through the study of past market data. Now, technical analysis has three assumptions. The first is all known market influences are fully reflected in the market already. The second, prices move in trends and those trends persist over time. And the third is the future can actually be found in the past. So that's briefly really what technical analysis is. Well, as farmers, I think we're most familiar with fundamentals like supply and demand, ending stocks, carryover. Um, how does fundamental analysis differ from technical analysis and how do we use it in our pricing decisions? That's a really good question because a lot of my clients, they go on barchart.com or something like that, and they see these charts and these and these futures prices, but then they always come back to me and say, oh, in my area, I don't have, there's not a lot of canola or not a lot of wheat. And that's where I, I help them give a different kind of viewpoint because one common misconception actually of technical analysis is that people that use it don't actually believe in fundamentals. Well, that's actually not true. Technical analysis is really the indirect study of fundamentals. Now, the basic difference between technical and fundamental analysis is that technical analysts study the effect of changing fundamentals. That is the change of price and volume over time. Whereas fundamental analysis they study the change of price movements. Again, like you said, the changing of ending stocks. So that's kind of what they study. Okay, if I wanted to use technical analysis in my marketing, uh, what would be a good way to get started? Well, here on our screen, you could see a chart of this is March Minneapolis wheat going back one year. So there's a lot of different types of ways to analyze charts. I want to give you one brief way that you can help look at charts yourself. And specifically, I want to introduce you to what reversals are. So th again, this is a chart you can see in March Minneapolis wheat from February to August, there is a downward trend happening and it's following a pattern called making lower lows. So you can see in March, there is a price low made there. Again, without kind of thinking about what happened the rest of the year, nobody knew what was gonna happen past that. And then we saw the price increase into April. Well, then we saw the price decline into May, making a lower low increased again in May, and then finally kept going lower, making a new low, again, lower lows into August. So you can see that there was, it bottomed out in August, and now the price and the trend started to change. In other words, a reversal started to happen. So again, these lower lows were made and a reversal happened. And I like to help use trend lines that help identify these reversals and then support and resistance. So that might be a, another episode that we'll talk about, but looking for lower lows shows that again, the price change is going lower and then look, looking for that reversal as you can see in Minneapolis wheat. So nobody knows where the price is gonna be going in the future, but analyzing these past events can help you make educated marketing decisions going forward. Um, when I look at that, does that mean I should be holding off on my pricing decisions for um, the, the trend is, is with me? <laughs> That's a million dollar question, Margaret. And really, I also, one of the reasons I, I talk to clients about technicals, because I combine them with the fundamentals. So right now, I do believe the technicals are turning positive in the wheat market. However, when you look at the fundamentals, like you mentioned uh, before the ending stocks, 
that's actually showing a bit different of a story. We're actually still sitting on world record ending stocks for wheat. So then that's kind of a negative picture. So that's where you have to definitely use, I would say multiple types of analysis to, to give you your pricing decisions. For now, I would say the trend is positive. However, again, uh, that can change quickly, so. Okay, as always, um, well, we'll look forward to some more discussions um, in the future, Adam. I thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you very much for having me, Margaret. Thank you, Norm, and looking forward to, to chatting again soon.